it's hard to pass up the smell of freshly brewed coffee. And this familiar green mermaid has come to mean just that all around the world. Here's how Seattle's biggest coffee chain is capitalizing on our need for caffeine. There's a reason why Starbucks always ends up costing us a little more than we expected. We often pass up that super cheap cup of Deli Joe and choose to splurge a little more at Starbucks. So how do they keep luring us in? Well, for one thing, Starbucks has figured out how to keep their loyal, frappuccino-loving and iced coffee caffeine addicts happy. They are constantly creating new variations of old standards. Unicorn, zombie, double-double fudge bar frappuccinos, and the pumpkin spice lattes that usher in fall. Customers rush to the closest Starbucks to try these limited time offers, thus keeping things exciting and unpredictable. Starbucks stores are designed to be aesthetically pleasing while also catching customers' attention. The food case is generally kept in the best lit area of the store, drawing your attention right to it. And those very tempting grab-and-go items by the register, like candy, cookies, and nuts, are low-cost add-ons that do eventually add up. Stores often change their floor layout. By rearranging, it makes you notice new products you may not have tried before. Starbucks is constantly swapping in new merchandise and changing cup designs based on the season, making things like the annual holiday-themed cup an Instagrammable must-have. And what about Frappy Hour? These are often advertised in-store and through the app. Their loyalty program almost turns ordering into a game where we keep trying to get to the next level. Through the Starbucks app, you can find special offers, reload your card, and even redeem points for rewards. Buy enough drinks, about 16, and you're rewarded with one free drink. Everyone knows Starbucks' three signature sizes, tall, grande, and venti. But there's another size they don't tell you about, short, which is eight ounces. The short is smaller and less expensive than a tall. But you have to specifically ask the barista for it. Another tip, you can always ask for light ice. Instead of a grande iced coffee, save money by asking for a tall with light ice instead. You'll spend less while getting almost the same amount of coffee, just with less ice. There you have it. If you're looking to stay on a coffee budget, you may want to think twice about your daily dose of Starbucks.